Hello everyone, this is HGJ Halloween, and yes, that was me singing in that little intro clip there, and I do just want to shout out my Spotify, which will be linked at the very top of the description. I've been having a super fun time with all of the music stuff. Your guys' support on my latest single, which you just heard a snippet of there, was incredible. And recently, I've written like two more songs. I have another song that's like almost through the production phase. I was filming the music video yesterday for Steal Our Love. I just have so much exciting stuff coming. And so it would just mean the world to me if you would support me on the music. And the way to do that is to click the Spotify link at the top of the description and stream the song. I've reached a thousand streams on both songs, which is unbelievable. I can't thank you guys enough. And you can also listen to it on Apple Music, YouTube, Amazon, everywhere. Just search up Tyler Hunt, Steal Our Love, and you will find it. But all right, today I am talking about Angeline, the girl on the tombstone. And this is a very interesting one. But actually, I forgot. I do have um, an announcement that I'm sure a lot of you guys will certainly care about, which is that I'm going to be going to the flagship store on Monday, meaning you guys will be getting my 2020 flagship store tour video on Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday, which is super duper freaking exciting. I cannot wait to see the store. I know I've said in the past I wasn't a huge fan of what the themes look like, but I can't say until I see it in person, and I'm certainly excited to see a lot of these props. So I did want to say that as well. You have the um, tour video of the flagship to look forward to this upcoming Tuesday, which is super duper exciting, and that means I will also be able to get all of my props there and really get going with the prop videos on the channel this year. So that is super fun. Make sure you're subscribed and be on the lookout. And Angeline, uh, now we're back on her. She is actually like the last in-store prop I believe I haven't addressed yet or that I'm now addressing. So I think like I know the sneak peeks have already pretty much ended. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure this is the last in-store one that I had not yet discussed. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and talk about her today because we will be seeing her in the display this year. Uh, so without further ado, let me go ahead and show you the official video of Angeline, which is on Spirit Halloween's website. So you can see for yourself, I have mixed feelings on this one, as I think a lot of people do, but I will get into it after you see the video. I love the cemetery, especially at midnight, when it's colder, when the other children are long asleep, and the dead awaken. So that right there is Angeline, another in-store prop we're going to be seeing for 2020. And obviously, it is supposed to be a doll sitting on a tombstone. And she does quite a few different things. Her head turns. Uh, so initially, I believe she is either looking straight ahead or possibly even the other direction. Um, but initially, she is looking like away from you. And then she turns her head towards you. Uh, she has mouth movement, although the mouth movement is not that great, but I'll get into that later. And then she kicks her feet back and forth and she has this creepy little doll voice. So we're getting a very typical little, uh, creepy, well, it's not really a doll actually. I mean, I, I keep saying that about these little girl props, I guess technically it could be just like, it's an actual little girl is what it's supposed to be. Although it kind of just looks like a doll, but it is uh, supposed to be a real little girl. So my bad there. It's not actually a doll prop, but we have a little girl on a tombstone with her teddy bear. So, I mean, the concept is there. It's not the worst idea we've ever seen. Although I do feel that there are a few different flaws in the execution. First of all, I just am not understanding the mold and the design of the face. The face is really not looking too hot, and especially in some of these images uh, where it's not that stock photo where it has the background and everything, and some of the other images with the white background, you can definitely tell that there's going to be some distortion and problems with this face. It has this very odd, like design of having huge cheeks that really stick out. The eyebrows don't match the hair color. The eyes look too small. The mouth looks like it's just squeezed in between these giant cheeks. And it just is really has some features that are off about it. Something is 
just wrong about this face. And on top of it, the mouth movement is not working. It really does just look like a little chipmunk, which it is supposed to be a real looking girl, which is why I accidentally called it a doll in the beginning. And no, it's actually supposed to look like a real girl. So it's really just missing the mark, I feel like, with the face design. And I do think that is probably one of the biggest flaws of it. Um, so yeah, I just am not liking the way that that face looks. I do think it definitely takes away from the overall look of the prop. And like I said, that mouth movement is another big negative. It really almost just looks like the mouth would be best not moving because it just kind of shakes and looks very odd. Now, one thing I do like about it is the fact that its legs kick back and forth. I think that that was definitely a great idea. I'm certainly liking that part of it. I just wish the face looked better better. I mean, we've got, you know, some typical brown hair with a bow in it. That doesn't look bad. The dress is obviously fine, just like a lavender little dress. I like the way it drapes over the grave or the tombstone. And then her teddy bear looks great. So I like all of those elements of the design. I just think the face and the mouth movement is really not doing it. Um, now, another thing about this is that it actually, I think, is going to be a little bigger than we anticipate because they have that image that has been uh, scrolling through here where you can see her compared to the actual size of like a six foot person. And she is 4.1 feet tall. So, I mean, if you think about it, it's this little girl sitting on a tombstone. I think it might actually be up to some people's like uh, like chest level potentially. Uh, so, I mean, like, I don't think it's going to be that small. But I think people still do have a huge issue. None oh, see, here is the uh, the image where you can see that she actually is going to be pretty tall. But I think people nonetheless have an issue with the price. The price is $170. It just seems kind of insane for this little girl sitting on a hollowed tombstone, most likely. I mean, maybe the tombstone is like ceramic hard uh, stuff. I don't know. But regardless, for $169.99... It's really not cutting it, especially with the issues, like I said, in the mouth movement and in the face. Uh, yeah, it definitely needed to be marked down a good 30 to 40 bucks. I don't think a lot of people are going to really want to fit this into their budget since it just seems like it should be a inexpensive prop but it happens to be more towards the upper end this year. So very strange choice in the pricing there. I think that's probably some people's biggest problem with it. Um, another thing about it is that it actually has three phrases. So we heard one of the phrases of audio in that video there. I'm not the biggest fan of the voice. You know, we've got a little girl voice with like no evil laughter, no evil sound in the back, just like straight up her cut dry vocal. And I don't know if I'm really liking it that much, guys. I'm, I'm not feeling super scared by it. It's a little bit like... I don't know. It just is a little off to me and it's not really sitting right with me. Uh, it's not the worst we've ever heard. It's not Johnny Punk bad, but it certainly doesn't add to the prop. I wouldn't say, you know what I mean? Like if it was off, it wouldn't really make a difference. It's just kind of like this little girl voice that is a little cheesy here and there. So We'll see how the other phrases turn out when we hear it in store. I will be hearing her in store soon on Monday when I go to flagship and we'll see. I'll get her on video for you guys to hear the rest of the phrases. But as far as I can tell, the voice is not anything special either. So guys, with this prop, it really is just feeling a little bit underwhelming. It's not like the worst idea. I think there just could have been some things that could have been done to make this a lot more interesting. The overall design of having a little girl sitting on a tombstone is not bad. The swinging legs was a great idea. The head turning and facing you is great. I just think we could have seen a better design in the face, maybe even going for less of a realistic look and more of a demonic look or a possessed girl look. White light up eyes would have been great. You guys know that kind of stuff is right up my alley. But instead, they kind of went for this realistic girl look, and it just looks like a deformed baby doll, and it's really not the greatest. So I don't know if people will be interested in this for $170 or not. We shall see. All right, guys, that is about all I have to say on Angeline. I almost called her Angelina. Angeline. Um, I will see what she looks like in stores for you guys very, very soon. And I guess I will do maybe one or two more sneak peeks 
Um, maybe on some of the other online only stuff. Like I said, I'm trying to give you guys as much content as possible this year. But regardless, you have the tour of the Spirit Halloween flagship location coming very soon to look forward to. So we have stuff on the channel that is coming. So please don't forget to follow me and stream my music on Spotify, guys. It really, really means the world. Your guys' love and support makes it all worth it. And just go ahead and check it out and see what you think. I make pop music. Some of you guys may hate it. Some of you guys may love it. Um, I just have so many songs on the way and so much stuff going on that I can't wait for you guys to see, for it all to be revealed. But right now you can still listen to my new song, which came out literally like a week ago, Steal Our Love. It's already up to a thousand streams. See what the hype is all about and click that link. There will also be a link to my uh, Spirit Halloween affiliate link. If you want to get Angeline or if you want to get the Skull Fire Logs, a nice ceramic skull you can put into your fireplace for your Halloween party this year, then check out my links. If you buy anything off of those links, it will help me and the channel out at no extra cost to you. In fact, there will be a free shipping code down there that you can use on the links. And like I said, it just helps me and the channel out if you want to buy anything off of Spirit Halloween's website this year. Those links will be there for the rest of the season. So they're always, always will be there for you if you want to come back and look. And there will be a link to all of my social medias, my Tyler Hunt Music Instagram, where I have a lot of photo shoots, a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Also my HGJ Halloween Instagram, if you want to see pictures from what's going on with videos and just more stuff than you can see on the channel. And there will be the HGJ Halloween merch shop link where you can get HGJ Halloween t-shirts, uh, you know, mugs, blankets, pillows, phone cases, even all of that good stuff will be right down below. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.